Hey guys, I haven't done a vlog in like five days and I feel really bad about it. I really, okay, look, look at this new shirt I have. It is fucking see-through as shit and it's fucking awesome, right? I love see-through shirts because they totally, you can get away with it if you have a bra and like a lot of like really ugly or fat chicks will wear them and nobody gives a shit. So if someone tries to give a shit about me, I'm like, well, they get to do it. That is some form of sexism, I'm sure. And then I'm totally in the clear. So that's what I like about that. But, um, I have a lot of stuff to tell you guys, and I really want to, like, lay down and relax, but my phone has to be plugged into the charger because it's almost dead, which sucks. I'm awful. I also got this new case. My, okay, my roommate totally shattered his iPhone fr uh, front. He has, like, a cover that is just made of plastic, and it's not meant to really protect it, and, uh, but it charges. It charges the phone. So, um, he dropped it on the concrete, and it completely shattered the screen, and he had to pay, like... Two or three hundred dollars to get it fixed, and that kind of sucks, but it only took like 45 minutes, so that was cool. But I don't want that to happen to mine, so what my dad did was he gave me this like really heavy duty um, protector. It's like made of steel and it's waterproof, and it also has bumpers on the edges and on the back, and like it screws in like on the sides and shit. Like a crazy person doesn't need that much protection from anything other than, you know, STDs or whatever. <laughs> but, um, okay, so I have a fuck ton of medical bills because, okay, let me let, got, let you guys in on a little secret of mine. It's not really a secret, but it's kind of, I don't know how gross it is, it might not be, I don't know. I have frequent UTIs, which are urinary tract infections, and, um, they happen way more frequently than they should t for me, but it's a thing that happens, and you can get it from just, like, having sex, you can get it from not drinking enough water, you can get it from, uh, not wearing underwear, I don't wear underwear, like, ever, or, like, wearing too tight of clothes, and it, like, chafes, or so, I don't know what the fuck is going on, um, but I'm super cautious about everything, like, I drink a fuck ton of water, um, I'm actually one of the few people I know that actually washes in the sink with soap and water every time I use the bathroom, or anytime I you know, have sex, I'm like super clean, and it still happens to me. It's been happening to me since I was like, I don't know, 9 or 15 or something like that, but uh, lately I don't have health insurance because I'm mostly self-employed with the modeling type thing and they don't like offer any kind of benefits if you're with like an agency usually, unless it's like a huge thing, right? So you have to pay for your own stuff. And I missed the deadline to do it in Washington State where it wouldn't cost me like an arm and a leg and just be better off for me to go and pay the 150 bucks for the doctor visit and then pay like the 80 bucks for the lab. Okay, so it stopped recording on me because I didn't have any room so I had to delete some stuff. Anyway, so it would be more lucrative and more intelligent for me to just pay the 200 bucks uh, that it would cost for the lab fees and all that shit uh, once every month or once every other month or once every couple weeks, whenever the fuck this hits me. I didn't have it for a couple years and then it started coming back recently and it just sucks and I was like, ugh, I hate it and it feels like terrible. I don't know if you've ever had it, but it just sucked. It sucks. It feels like you have to pee when you don't have to pee. I don't know how much of this was cut off by my uh, recording stopping, but I think I have to go over this again. So it feels like you always have to pee when you don't, like always. And then so you go and try to pee and like nothing comes out and then it burns at the end like crazy. And this can happen because... Um, it's just like a thing where my urethra is smaller than other women's, so like it's really easy for bacteria to get in there or something, and then it sucks, and I have to... I'm like the cleanest person ever. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'm like the cleanest person ever. I um, actually use soap and water to wash after I go to the bathroom, and before and after sex, and I make sure I pee before and after sex, and I shower every day, and I drink a fuck ton of water, and I have a super healthy diet, and all that stuff, but it does not deter it happening once in a while. So this time I was at a PTQ and it started hurting like crazy. And I was taking these uh, things that are supposed to like help for the pain, but they were not helping. So I was like, oh my god, I have to go somewhere. And it was like six o'clock on a Saturday and nothing was open. So I'm like, Wesley, oh my god. And so Wesley drove me to the Swedish Medical Center downtown, which is, I guess, uh, an ER, right? But they would take me anyway. And it turns out that it was a thousand dollars, a thousand fucking dollars, just for me to walk in there and be like, I have frequent UTIs, I'm gonna need antibiotics, sign the slip, like, give me antibiotics, right? And so it's, like, so fucking stupid. And now I'm applying for this stupid financial aid because I really hate paying for things that just return me to normal. Like, I have no problem with paying for, like, thousands of dollars to, like, get an upgrade on my home or my car or get some plastic surgery or buy new clothes or new makeup or something that's going to improve my life in some way, not just return it to normal because I fucked up, right? So like, 
my roommate breaking his phone was kind of annoying for me because it's not him upgrading his phone, it's him getting a phone that is not suboptimal and back to normal, which really annoys me. I, I'm assuming a lot of you guys can sympathize with that. But, um, so I'm annoyed that I have to pay this thousand dollar doctor bill, and I also have some that I haven't paid yet. I have like two eighty dollar lab fees, and um, another uh, fifty dollar lab fee because I've had these UTIs like a lot in the last like four months, which sucks. And um, so I applied for financial aid, but I don't know how much. Okay, so this is what happens. I only report the things that are um, like you know, I have to report for my, uh, what's it called? So my income that's reported for, uh, whatever is a lot less than my actual disposable income. So I'm thinking I can not have to pay financial aid because of that, which is pretty cool. Or I won't have to pay as much of it. But right now, as it stands, I have to pay like a thousand dollars or I have to pay like $60 a month for a year, which is like so stupid, right? Um, so yeah, medical bills are stupid. I really wish this was a country like a lot of other countries that just have free health insurance for everyone and we're all taken care of, especially the healthy people. Like at least the people who aren't going to cost insurance companies and aren't going to cost other places like a lot of money. But I also heard that in other countries the doctors aren't as good because they aren't paid as highly and it's not like a private sector type thing. So I don't know. If you guys have any experiences with either UTIs or medical bills or getting health insurance when you are self-employed and all that kind of stuff, you guys should write down in the comments and let me know what you guys' experiences are because I want you guys to feel like I'm interacting with you. I usually start a vlog and I'm like, um, so you guys are saying this, I want to clear this up, or you guys are saying that and I'm glad you can understand where I'm coming from and all that stuff. Um, other than that, things have been pretty good. I want to start streaming MTGO. My friends have been playing a lot of MTGO and I've been going to a lot of friends' houses to play it and it seems awesome. And I'm finally getting the hang of all of the triggers and stuff so it's like not as bad as I used to think it was. And I'm the beta client is so much better than the uh, older client so it's not nearly as bad. And you can like, um, you can like animate your, uh, your summoning sickness, you can animate the like, the animations of the uh, foils and stuff look cooler. Like, I am so against foils on MTGO, but, um, it's not as bad on the beta client. This is, um, Wesley's first teddy bear, and it, if you can tell, it's, like, super loved and used, and he gave it to me, and I think that's super sweet. And he's in the other room playing MTGO with Jay, so I'm trying to be a little quiet. But, yeah, it it's super cute. I love stuffed animals. I think I've told you this, like, a thousand times. But, um, I really love getting stuffed animals that have a sentimental value from, like, someone I care about, so it's really awesome that I have him to cuddle with now. Also, um, I went to a friend's house, my friend Skylar, who you've seen on my Instagram a little bit and a couple of my videos and stuff lately, and, um, I got really drunk on Friday, right, or I think it was Saturday, yeah, Saturday, and, um, this guy tried to mess around with me, who not only has a girlfriend, but he... I have to see him a lot and I told my friends and my friends were kind of mad because they're like you were drunk and I'm like I can handle myself and I think it's so stupid when someone tries to be all chivalrous and is like oh I'm not sexist so I'm gonna protect girls and you know I'm not a chauvinist so I don't think you should mess around with drunk girls but in my opinion I should I'm an adult I can handle myself I know how much I should and shouldn't drink and I don't want to be treated like a damsel in distress unless it's because the person cares about me specifically not just because they feel like all of the feminine race has been, you know, wronged by someone trying to take advantage of a drunk girl. Like, I've literally never gotten so drunk that I wouldn't, like, that I would do something that I literally would never do if I was sober. It's always just like, I feel a little, a little bit more comfortable doing those things. Like, so let's say there's a guy that I really like, and this doesn't usually happen, I'm not usually shy, but let's say there's a guy that I really like and I'm shy, but I do want to do him. It'll just make it easier for me to do him when I'm drinking alcohol. Like, that kind of thing. So... I feel like it's everyone's responsibility to take care of themselves and like women shouldn't be babied just because they're women, you know? Like it's cool to have a guy who like protects you because he's bigger than you and stronger than you and loves you specifically, but if it's like, oh my god, the whole, you know, if all females have been wronged by this guy who wants to have sex with you because of course, you know, he wants to have sex with you, it's just it's so stupid. But um, yeah, so that's enough for terasdrama.com plus drama with medical bills plus magic. <laughs> Um, I have 
uh, a new schedule where I'm gonna start making more videos on a regular basis videos on my gaming channel that are not with Wesley, videos that are more streaming, everything's gonna be wonderful. Uh, I'm gonna take a few more modeling jobs but they're gonna be a little bit more um, I'm gonna be more picky because I don't want to do it as much unless it's for an idea that I have right now and right now I don't feel as happy with um, like modeling as I do with just like playing games and trying to progress my online gaming career so yeah and thank you so much for supporting me in that and on my vlog channel and everything I hope you guys like this update now let's take a boobies picture boobies thumbnail This is gonna be like, the, oh my god, I have medical bills. Bye, guys.